to a Jake in the Neverland Pirates. Captain! Captain Hook! Oh, Captain Hook! When Hook goes missing. But we're looking for Captain Hook. I'm not so sure that I want to find old Feather Hat. Helping them find their captain is the right thing to do. Look for Hook Week. Keep watching all week long at 530, Central. And keep an eye out for Hook online at DisneyJunior.com slash Jake. Sometimes the greatest adventure can start with one click. ABCMouse.com Early Learning Academy is a proud sponsor of Disney Junior. Nightingale music. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Phew, this race might be difficult to call. Where are you going, Dad? I'm going to Grandpa's to pick up my old recorder. My dad taught me how to play it when I was your age, and now I want to teach you. Be back soon. Teach me to play the recorder. What's a recorder? It's a musical instrument, and I'll learn to play it and give big recorder concerts all over the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, why don't I give a big recorder concert tonight? I can invite all my friends. Uh, Stanley, that may be a little difficult considering you haven't even learned how to play the recorder yet. Dennis is right. Don't you think you should at least take a few lessons first? Yeah, like how do you play it? No problem. My dad will give me a quick lesson and I'll be all set. But it'll take a lot more than one lesson before you're ready to perform. Don't worry, Dennis. All the guys in my family are good musicians. Grandpa, Dad, Lionel, and now me. I got it, I got it! Good kick, Marcy! Send it over here, Mimi. Hey, guys, guess what? I'm giving a recorder concert tonight, and you're all invited. Here it is, Stanley. Oh, boy, my recorder! This was Grandpa's, then it was mine, and now it's yours. Wow! Thanks, Dad. Now all he has to do is learn to play it. Are you ready for your first lesson? Yep. That's beautiful. Wow, that bird makes beautiful music, too. That's a nightingale, Stanley. Nightingales are quite the musicians themselves. They are? Dad, teach me a song. We'll start with one note at a time. This is a C. <laughs> Try it again, Stanley. Not bad. Now to play a D, you just lift your bottom pinky. And to play an E, you just lift up the next finger. This is 
was harder than I thought. I know it's frustrating, but you'll get it if you keep trying. Just practice it over and over, and you'll get better. You'll see. Keep practicing. I sound terrible, don't I? Yeah! No, of course not, Stanley. But what about my concert tonight? Everybody's going to be there. I can't let them hear me sounding like this. You'll get it. Try it again. Even the Nightingale hates my music. And I know why. He makes better music than I can without even trying. That's actually not true, Stanley. While the Nightingale makes singing look easy, he had to learn from his father and practice, 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 just like you. No way! Birds don't take singing lessons. <laughs> they certainly do. And I'd be happy to show you if you'd like to step inside a certain book. Okay. Well, aren't you going to sing? Nah, not today. Why not? We could never sing as beautifully as the Nightingale. Really? You mean you're not going to sing that annoying song anymore? Oh, hooray! Just kidding! It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. I knew it was too good to be true. A nightingale takes lessons too and has to practice just like you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. N is for Nightingale. Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have some fun. She seems so pretty. Actually, it's a he, not a she, Harry. Only male Nightingales sing. How come? Well, if the female sang while she was sitting on her nest, it would attract predators. Say, what a tours? I know what a predator is. It's an animal that hunts other animals, like nightingales. That's right, Stanley. And that's why only male nightingales sing. Oh, I get it. If the mother nightingale sang, it would let the predator know where the nest was. And we couldn't have that, could we? That's the Nightingale's son, and he's come for his singing lesson. It's kind of hard to see him up there. I think I'd better use my stanoscope. You see, Stanley? The Nightingale's son is still learning the song. And the father is teaching him. I can't believe it. This son sounds all squeaky, just like you, Stanley. Um, thanks, Harry. I guess. If you two are going to keep hogging the stanoscope, I'll just go up there and have a look for myself. Elsie, wait! Hi there. <laughs> hey, what happened, Elsie? You scared them away. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to watch the lesson. You may not realize it, Elsie, but cats are one of the main predators of nightingales. Oh, you silly, silly cat. I'm sure you meant no harm, Elsie. But nightingales sing better when there aren't any predators, because they live longer and have more time to practice and teach their young. You mean nightingales keep getting better even when they already know how to sing? That's right. You never stop improving as long as you practice. Ask your dad. I'll bet he still works at his recorder playing. Really? I feel just awful about scaring away the nightingales. I really wanted to hear the little nightingale sing. Wait a minute, dude. I think I hear him. There they are. I'll stay back here so I don't scare them again. <gasps> He's getting it. He did it. Bravo. It's so beautiful. He's not the 
only one who needs to practice his music. I gotta go home and practice, too. Okay, let me try this again. Let's help Stanley practice the notes. Ahem. C, D, E. Now you sing it with me. Ready? C, D, E. Oh, that sounded great. Now you try playing that, Stanley. Oh, sorry I took so long. You seem to be making good progress. Mine doesn't sound as good as yours. Uh, just keep practicing. That's what I do. You mean you do still practice, even though you already know how to play? Sure. I'm still learning, just like you. Even your grandpa still practices. Then I'd better practice, too. I will now play my first song. Bravissimo! Is that it? Is that the end? Uh-huh. Uh, I think they're ready to hear your next song, Stanley. But I don't have a next song. Then I guess you'd better play your first song again. I can't keep playing the same song over and over. Ladies and gentlemen, dog, cat, and fish, Stanley and I will now play a duet. Just play your song. I'll do the rest. I guess we should call that a trio. You played very well tonight, Stanley. For someone who's just had one lesson, I still have a long way to go. True enough. Just like nightingales, you still have to practice. And nightingales learn from their dads, just like I do. Good night, Dennis. Good night, Elsie. Good night, Harry. Good night, nightingale Stanley. Put the recorder down. I'm practicing! Wow! Flying man sure is cool, isn't he? Indeed he is. I especially like the way he can fly through the air like a rocket. I like the way he always protects people and the way he always wins. Hey, look! It's Lester! Stanley! Hey, Stanley! Hi, Lester. What are you doing out there? Open up! Quick! I have something really, really cool to show you! I finally saved up enough money, so my mom took me down to the store. They just had one left, and guess what? I got it! Got what? Ta-da! Wow! It's Super Solar Flying Man! Just like on TV! Ooh. Isn't he cool? Ah... I didn't even open it up yet. I wanted you to see the box first. Awesome, huh? Just look at him go! This is gonna be so great! I figured the first thing we could do is take him out back. Maybe he could take us for a ride. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? And if Elsie ever got stuck up a tree or something, Super Solar Flying Man could fly down and rescue her! He's a superhero! My hero. We 
don't want him to fly away. You're right. Maybe you'd better hold on to him. Now let go slowly. I'll catch him if he tries to get away. Okay, here goes! Hey, what happened? That's funny. Isn't he supposed to jump up and start flying around? Well, yeah! That's why he's called Super Solar Flying Man! Only he's not even moving! Do you think maybe he's broken? Maybe I was supposed to get some batteries. I don't think so. I don't see any place where you're supposed to put them in. Well, do you think maybe there's an on and off switch? No, I don't see any. Why won't he fly around? You saw him on TV. You saw him at the movies. Now you too can own your very own Super Solar Flying Man. Hey, look, it's the commercial. Let's watch it. Maybe we're doing something wrong. Are you sure that's the same toy you got? Yeah, see? He's flying through space. Oh, I don't get it. What's wrong with my toy? Hey, Lester, look. He isn't really flying at all, see? That girl was holding him the whole time. Stan is right. We didn't notice that because they only show her at the very end. You mean, even though he's called Super Solar Flying Man, he can't really fly? I guess not. But that's not fair! That's cheating! On TV, Super Solar Flying Man can fly faster than the space shuttle! Once he even flew so fast, he went back in time! This toy isn't flying anywhere. Oh! So what do we do with it? I know! Let's bury it in the backyard! Hold on a second. Don't you think there's some way we can maybe get it to fly? How? I don't know. I don't think it's any good, Stanley. I mean, just look at him. He doesn't even have wings or anything. He's right. Everybody knows you need wings if you want to fly. Actually, that's not quite true. What do you mean, Dennis? Well, as I recall, there's one animal that has no problem zooming through the air without wings. And that's the flying squirrel. The flying squirrel? I thought that was just a made-up animal. Indeed not. It's quite, quite real. Really? Did you hear that, Lester? Maybe we could take a look at the flying squirrel to see how it flies without wings. All we have to do is look it up in the... Uh, uh, can't we just go there without actually having to say it? Say what? You know, the great big book of everything. Oh, Dennis, did we just hear you say the great big book of everything? No, I... Well, I mean, I didn't... Oh, dear. It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's a perfect guide. Me and my big goldfish mouth. When will I ever learn? Wingless flight is nothing new. Flying squirrels know what to do. Okay, this is an easy one. A, B, C, D, E, F. F is for flying squirrel. Hey, look, they're kind of cute. They sure are. Look at their big eyes and little noses. Well... Do you think they really fly without wings? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Yeah, so let's go. Five, Five four, three, two, one. Into, into the, the book to have some fun. <laughs> hey, where are we? We're in a forest up in New England. Flying squirrels live all over the northern and eastern parts of North America, from Alaska all the way down to Florida. See? It's hard to see anything. Couldn't we have come when it was sunnier? Well, we could have, but then we wouldn't have met any flying squirrels. They're nocturnal. I know what that means. Nocturnal animals sleep during the day and run around at night, right? Yes, indeed, Stanley. So where are they? Just look up and listen carefully. What was that? Did you see that? Something's up there. Look, there it is. Wow. wow! Did you see that? It flew right through the air and it landed on that tree.
A real flying squirrel. And it looks just like the squirrels I see in the backyard. That's because they're related to each other. They all live in trees and eat many of the same foods. Cones, nuts, mushrooms and insects. But there are big differences between the flying squirrel and the non-flying kind, called a tree squirrel. Do you think you can tell what the differences are between a flying squirrel and a tree squirrel? Well, the flying squirrel is a lot smaller than the tree squirrel. Yes, and its eyes are a lot bigger. And their tails are different, too. The flying squirrel has a flatter tail that isn't as fluffy. Very good. But I don't get it. If it doesn't have wings, how can it fly? Excellent question. As it is, the most unusual feature of the flying squirrel is one you can't notice right away. To see it, you have to look closely. Hmm. Sounds like a job for my stanoscope. Do you see anything good, Stanley? Um, yeah. Here, everybody, take a look. What's that weird flappy thing on the side of its body? That weird flappy thing is actually called a patagium. It's a loose flap of skin attached from the flying squirrel's wrists to its ankles. Really? So does the flying squirrel flap its, uh, patagium up and down like wings? No, and that's because despite its name, the flying squirrel doesn't actually fly. It glides. Just watch. Wow! Huggy oh, smokes! What's the difference between flying and gliding? A very good question indeed. Flying means it can take off from the ground whenever it wants and control how it moves once it's in the air. So what's gliding? Gliding means the squirrel jumps off from a high place and floats on the air, getting lower and lower until it finally lands. I get it. I think... Do you understand the difference between flying and gliding? Which of the following things do you think glides? A bumblebee, a paper airplane, or an eagle? Hmm, let's see. Flying means you can take off from the ground. And gliding means you float on the air. So out of those three, I think the paper airplane glides and the other two fly. Am I right? Indeed you are. Cool. So the patagium is kind of like a parachute, too. Exactly. The big difference is when you're a flying squirrel, your parachute is built in. So I guess even though it's called a flying squirrel, it doesn't really mean it can fly. Yeah, and neither can Super Solar Flying Man. Which gives me an idea. <laughs> Mr. Griff, do you have a handkerchief I could borrow, please? Sure I do. What's the matter, Lester? You're not coming down with a cold, are you? Nope. It's just something I want to try. Lester, what are you going to do with it? You'll see. It's all ready. I still don't get it. Watch. Me. It's like a parachute. Or a patagium. I guess you don't need wings to sail through the air after all. <laughs> <laughs> took Super Solar Flying Man and made him glide. Indeed it was, just like a superhero. Or a flying squirrel. We learned so many things today. For instance, the flying squirrel uses its flap of skin called a patagium to glide through the air. And that sometimes commercials don't tell you everything you need to know. But if you use your imagination, you can make anything fun. A valuable lesson indeed. Good night, Dennis. Good night, Squirrel Stanley. Guess how much I love you. Coming up on Disney Junior. Boppy, 
You've got a bad case of the prickle bars. Ooh, one, two, one, two, three. I wanna pop, pop, pop. Don't wanna pop. I wanna pop, pop, pop. Don't wanna pop. You bopped around the block, popped and had to stop so you came to see the dot. Oh. Then you fixed me up. That's what you had to do. I fixed you up, made your life new. Go and have fun, but be careful when you run. Stay away from ouches. Ouches. Bop around more, fall on the floor. Just keep away from those. Available on Disney DVD. I'm back. Peter Pan! Did you miss me? Crackers, yeah! Peter Pan returns to Neverland. You lost your shadow, Peter. <laughs> Got him! And needs Jake's help to get his shadow back. Got it! Oh, no, you don't! Disney's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Peter Pan returns. Now available on Disney DVD with digital copy. Deep in the Hundred Acre Wood is a bear named Winnie the Pooh. He and his friends have gone on many wonderful adventures, and as we turn the page, we're going to see one right now. On this particular day, Eeyore was enjoying a peaceful nap in his home, while above him, Tigger was just waking up from a nap of his own. It's time for some fountain! <laughs> 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 With Eeyore's house smashed by the large rock, his friends immediately gathered to see how they could help. And Rabbit, being, well, Rabbit, hopped into action with a plan. All we need is a little team effort. Rabbit's rock remover. Now then, Pooh Bear, release the counterweight. Piglet, start pulling your own weight. That's good, Tanga. Roo. No. All right, now. Oh, good. Mala. No, no, no. Let's try that again. It's very simple. You just need a little bounce in right there. Uh -huh, that's almost amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Tigger felt terrible about destroying both Eeyore's house and Rabbit's rock remover, so he set out to find some way to make things right. As winter fast approached, and with Eeyore still without a home, everyone was concerned as the first snow fell in the Hundred Acre Wood. But then, unexpectedly, Tigger gathered all the friends together to reveal quite a spectacular surprise. For my bestest friend, Eeyore! Try it on for size, donkey boy! A bit on the comfy side. Not very drafty, but I suppose I'll get used to it. And Eeyore spent the cold winter inside his cozy new house built by his very good friend, Tigger. Like you are completing special assignments with Special Agent Oso. Hi, I'm Kate, and this is my best friend David. Hi. We like to go to the playground. Our favorite is going down the slide. One time, I brought my jump rope. <laughs> it was bright pink. There are three special sets for jumping rope. Special alert! Special alert! I learned them from Special Agent Elsa. She showed me how to jump rope. Put the jump rope behind your feet. 